Welcome to Wines Du Jour. We're here at uh, McCormick & Schmick, a beautiful seafood steakhouse here in Las Vegas, just about six blocks off the strip. Easy to find, outstanding food. If you're driving, there's plenty of parking. It's just a wonderful place to be. Wines Du Jour tonight is featuring three wines from a brand new winery from California. That's actually in the Santa Barbara area. And you, if you don't know, Santa Barbara just sits above the Los Angeles area. The beautiful part about these wines is that the vineyards that they have have a little breeze of anywhere from five to 10 miles an hour coming from the Pacific Ocean. And that kind of keeps the area down and, and as far as temperature is concerned, even though it may be a little warmer uh, in the other parts of the neighborhood. So the wines are absolutely outstanding. The Chardonnay is beautiful. Wait till you taste or listen to, to us taste about the Zinfandel. It's really cool. Conway Family Wines is the name of it. So don't go anywhere, sit back and relax, and we'll be back after these messages. to DirecTV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month, so get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Welcome back to Wines Du Jour. We're here at McCormick & Schmick in Las Vegas, Nevada, where you should be. And we're having a group of people come tonight uh, to do some tasting of some family wines from California. Where? More specifically, Santa Barbara. Now, if you don't know exactly where Santa Barbara is, it sits just north of the Los Angeles area. And it's just south, if you will, technically from what we call the Central Coast. You hear me talk about the Central Coast a lot. And that's a good thing. Uh, but just south of that is Santa Barbara. And Santa Barbara itself is a, what we call an AVA. It has its own designated uh, distinctive area for growing grapes. Why is it a little bit different than anywhere else? Well, first of all, as I mentioned a little while ago, it's right on the coast. And I say on the coast, their tasting room, you can throw a nickel out the door into the water. That's, that's the coast they have in Santa Barbara for tasting. But the wines themselves, the vineyards, are just within, say, 20 miles of uh, the water itself. So they get a constant breeze of 5 to 10 miles an hour. What does that mean? It keeps the grapes a little bit cooler than other parts of the country. What does that mean? Well, there are certain grapes that like it like that, and there are some grapes that particularly don't particularly care for that, but it's okay. The ones that they grow are loving the weather. And so rather than me tell you all about the Con Conway uh, family winery, let me introduce you to Jillian Conway. She is the lady that's come over from Santa Barbara, brought her wines, and we're going to be tasting along with some food that Chef Yoakum has put together. Jillian, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for coming, and thanks for sharing your beautiful wines. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. I'm thrilled to be in Las Vegas representing my family's winery from Santa Barbara, uh -huh. Conway Family Wines. Our label Deep Sea and our estate label Rancho Arroyo Grande, which we'll also taste today. Right. Deep Sea is one label that you want to look for. Uh, you can go online and we'll give you the, uh, uh, the website address and so on a little bit later. But Deep Sea is a name that you want to remember in particular from my standpoint because their Chardonnay is so good. And part of it is because of where it's located, I think. But tell us a little bit about that. You guys have really searched out. Uh, some really nice Arroyo Grande uh, property, uh, planted some grapes and are growing them that make some really fantastic wines. Tell us about it. So my family actually got into the wine business in 2007 and we're originally from Santa Barbara. Uh -huh. So 
growing up um, sort of in and among the wine culture of Santa Barbara, we really developed an appreciation and a love for the wines that are made in our hometown and our region, our area. And uh, what that means is, particularly with Chardonnay, uh, the climate and the soil type really lends itself to creating wines that are a little bit lower in alcohol, with great acidity, and you're really tasting all that Chardonnay fruit. Um, with not a lot of kind of winemaker um, intervention, you really can just make a simple, um, a simple Chardonnay that really represents the region with a lot of complexity, of course, um, and a little bit of French oak addition, but really representing kind of that coastal climate and that maritime climate, what we like to call the ocean effect. There you go. I think that's a good point, way to put it. You know, when we taste wine, I say this quite often, but you should swirl it. I think my suggestion is around 10 seconds, uh, and then stick your nose right in the glass and see if you can't recognize some of those aromas uh, that come out of that glass. And the reason that you swirl it is to get the wine up at the side of the bowl of the glass, and that just gives you a, a little more opportunity for aromas to come out. We call it smelling. That's what it is. Green apple. Kiwi, those kinds of things. I think this smells good. I haven't tasted it yet, but I think this smells really good. And this is the 2009 Deep Sea Chardonnay. Am I right? You're absolutely correct. Let me taste it and you tell us a little bit about it. So the Deep Sea Chardonnay is, I feel, one of the wines that represents what my family is striving for um, in the sense that it really represents the Central Coast and the Santa Barbara region in that it's light, it has a lot of tropical fruit flavors um, and aromas, a lot of pineapple. Um, some Chardonnays can display a lot of more citrus aromatics and flavors. This one in particular represents the Santa Maria Valley very well and that it has a lot of the tropical like pineapple <coughs> aromatics and flavors. Right. Well, being a, at a beautiful place like uh, McCormick and Schmick, We've asked uh, Chef Yoakum if he'd put together a little bit of food to go with your Chardonnay. We've had a chance to get some information on it. He brought out, listen to this folks, drumettes, chicken drumettes. Now you think of chicken drumettes as being uh, uh, chicken wings. No, 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 that's not what it is. Take a look at this and we're going to taste it. One of those is yours, one of those is mine, and we're going to taste some of this along with a little bit of the wine and see what we come up with. Go ahead and have a taste. You take one and I'll take one. They look amazing. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Oh, they are amazing. Mm. Yeah. Now, the way to taste it is to put the food in your mouth to start with, take a little swirl, and then take a little sip, and have the two together. And you'll see exactly what pairing wine is all about. Mm. Now, this Chardonnay is kind of unique. You've heard me say on the show uh, quite a bit that we don't like to pair food with Chardonnay too much because Chardonnay is kind of a tough grape to pair with food. Not this Chardonnay. It's excellent. You can grill with it. You can do a lot of different things. Well, what else can I tell you? This is number one. We're going to have a good time finishing this off. We've got to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to have a nice time talking about wine number two, which is a blend of deep sea. We'll find out more about that when we come back. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after these messages. Switch to DirecTV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Welcome back to Wines Du Jour. We're here at McCormick and Schmick having a good time talking with uh, Jillian Conway, who is part of the Conway Family Winery in the Santa Barbara area. Now, we tasted the Chardonnay and we had a nice uh, chicken drumettes, but now we're going to taste wine number two. And wine number two has a little more complexity to it. And by that I mean, well, on the label it simply says red wine. Okay. 
What does that mean? Well, that means that inside there's probably more than one varietal. <laughs> In fact, there are five varietals. And what I'm going to do is while I'm pouring a glass for Jillian and I, is ask her to tell us a little bit about your deep sea red. So the deep sea red is our signature blend. And we like to call it our Rhone-inspired blend. Boy, it's beautiful. Go ahead, I'm sorry. It's predominantly Syrah, so that's where you get a lot of this dark uh -huh. color. It's Syrah, Petit Syrah, Merlot, Merved, and Le Grind. We have four French grapes, one Italian grape in there. And that's what we can do in California. We have no laws or restrictions that require us to use one grape or another grape or to, right. to classify it a certain way. Right. So we can have a lot of fun with our blends, especially well. on the Central Coast. And there's so much opportunity to source from different vineyards and get exciting varietals like La Grande. This deep sea red. The nose on this is absolutely incredible. We're talking about... Well, Petit Syrah has its own little uniquenesses to it, but we're talking about five different varietals all blended together. They actually do what the, the winemaker generally and the, his tasting party uh, decides is best. Tell us a little bit about what we're tasting here because well, it is in, really in, good. In this case and in my family and the way our winery operates, um, it very much is a family business and we all wear many hats and one of, one of the most fun things about working with my family is creating blends like this. So we do sit together with our winemaker and go through the process of deciding which percentages of which grapes to go together. So much fun. It's like <laughs> wine tasting. Yeah. You don't know how much of which grape is in right. there, but you decide just based on what you really think tastes and smells and looks the best. <sighs> so my family agreed. There's seven of us in this decision-making process, which can be a lot of fun. And my family agreed on this blend which um, basically our goal was to create something that looks, tastes, smells absolutely delicious. It's nice and light on the palate in spite of its dark color. It's very soft and it pairs with virtually anything. So this is my go-to cooking. Well, you're, you're absolutely right. Well, I can tell you, most people think red wine, you're going to have to have a steak. You're in a steakhouse, why don't they bring out a steak? Well, because the chef knows better. We're talking about uh, Chef uh, Justin Yoakum. Is, uh, is a chef here. He said, you know what? I agree with you, Les. Well, let's do something different. Let's don't just do a steak. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to do a seafood paella. I said, are you serious? He said, listen to what I have in mind. And look, folks, this is what he had in mind. He's taken some green lip mussels. Now, you may or may not know what green lip mussels are. They come only from one part in the, uh, one area in the entire world, and that is in New Zealand. Then he's paired uh, that seafood with some shrimp that comes from South America. Now, South America uh, is not known for seafood. We're talking about shrimp in particular, except if you go to Mazalan, Mexico. In fact, you might not know it, but Mazalan, Mexico has more shrimp than any other area in the entire world. But this particular shrimp here comes from clear water. This is seawater but beautiful clear water. That means it's pristine. It's also more expensive, but chef doesn't hold back anything. And if you know about paella, paella is certainly one of the most popular dishes in Spain. And it's a matter of cooking a lot of tomato product along with some rice over a period of time. He's done it kind of a modern style. He's from Texas, I might have. But you can tell that this paella is not what you would normally see in a Spanish restaurant, but the taste is there. And if you will, I want you to try this mussel for sure. This uh, mussel is one of my favorite mussels of all kinds. Uh, and there are probably eight or nine different uh, species of mussels available, black mussels and so on. But this uh, New Zealand green lip mussel, that's the name of it, which sounds a little bit weird. And you're going to think, I don't know if I want that or not. Take it. And the mussel itself, when it, before it's cooked, is an orange color as opposed to a, a typical, let's call it gray color. So you know you've got it when you take a look at it because none of the other mussels in the world are that shade. So there's a chance to taste those two. I want to taste this paella and uh, I want to taste this wine with it because I have to tell you, this is great. Now, the, the wine, how much would we expect to pay for a bottle of this? It's got to be $50 or more. No, um, thank you for saying that. We, we, we like to keep our wines um, in an affordable price point. Um, there are smaller productions, so it's um, important to make sure that we are able to stay in business 
Um, but we like to keep our wines affordable for all of our customers. So this is also under twenty dollars. Are you serious? Yeah, around eighteen, nineteen, ninety-nine. When you find it, folks, one or two or three, like I mentioned with the Chardonnay, get yourself a six-pack. You will not be unhappy. And you can get yourself a steak. You can get yourself seafood. Just about anything is going to go with this. I have to tell you, the color, I'm sure you can see it, but the color here uh, with the lighting is just, just, it's sensual. The nose and the color of this is definitely very sensual. I can't tell you any more about that. This is great. We've got to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to taste wine number three, which is America's number one varietal, Zinfandel. If you're watching Wines Du Jour with the Conway Family Winery is what we're featuring tonight with uh, Jillian Conway. We're at McCormick and Schmick, and I have to tell you, the best seafood and steaks in Las Vegas. And you're watching Wines Du Jour, where we say, wine is food. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after these messages. <laughs> to Direct TV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to Direct TV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Welcome back to Wine Du Jour. I have to tell you, this third wine is something I've been looking forward to all this evening. And uh, Jillian Conway here has been very nice in telling me a little bit about the uh, beautiful Zinfandel that they have over there in the Santa Barbara area. Tell us a little bit more about your wine while I pour a little bit, okay? So this is an estate Zinfandel, which means that it's 100% grown and produced by our property and our estate. And what makes this Zinfandel particularly special and interesting is that it's dry farmed, which means that we don't use any sort of irrigation process whatsoever. These so if it doesn't rain, it doesn't get it anything. Doesn't they do that in nature. they do that in Champagne, France, with all the Champagne grapes. I don't know if you knew that or not, but it's absolutely a fact. So that's really a, a very serious way to grow grapes. It's kind of an old world it way is, to grow definitely. grapes, which is really fun because we're. We're basically creating a what I like to call a happy marriage of right. old world farming and old world viticulture meets new world varietals and certainly a new world climate. So Great. we have Zinfandel, which you were saying is the American varietal, and I very much believe that, that is true as well. And as a, um, a a big patriot and a big fan of California, my home state, sure. this Zinfandel truly to me represents. California and U.S. winemaking. Now one of the things that tends to happen typically with uh, Zinfandel and uh, with Cabernet and a, a couple other red wines is that the way that the winemaker decides to take them out of the field when they're the right ripeness if you will, it used to be in the old days when there's about 25 or 30 percent what they call bricks, that's spelled B-R-I-X, and that's just another word for sugar. It's when the sugar content for the grape got to a certain point, that's when the winemaker decided to take it out of the field. Well, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago or so, winemakers have decided that that's not necessarily the way they want to continue doing it, and so a new habit has been formed by winemakers all around the world, and that is to have them work on the percentage of sugar rather than, uh, I'm sorry, not the percentage of sugar, but the, the allowing it to go past that point. In other words, instead of stopping at 30 or 25, uh, they might let it go to 35 or something of that nature. It depends on the winemaker, and then they pull it out. Well, here's what happens, though. The taste is more drinkable now, which is one of the problems that winemakers have faced for years and years and years. In uh, Europe, for years, they make a wine, they put it in a bottle, and it lays in the cellar for three or four or five years before they can actually sell it and start uh, drinking it. Well, by allowing the grapes to stay on the vine longer, uh, it becomes more drinkable quicker, and therefore, when the winemaker decides to release the wines to the public, you can drink it right then and there. You don't have to lay it down for two or three years. 
Well, that's just a little bit of information I thought you'd like to know. But the important part is, with Zinfandel, this is absolutely a wonderful thing. But in this particular case, Rancho Arroyo Grande is the label, not Deep Sea. Same winery, different label. And this Zinfandel is killer. But the percentage of grape is a little bit higher. Well, the food is fantastic that the chef put together. A little bit of ribeye that he's wrapped. He's taken a little bit of wilted spinach and a little bit of mushroom duxelle. And if you will, I'd like you to, Jillian, take a taste of this ribeye along with your wine. I think you're going to be very, very pleasantly I surprised. Would be happy to <laughs> I think this is happy. Don't have to be twist perfect. your leg on that one, do we? One of the things about Zinfandel that I think is so special is that it can pair with virtually anything. Ours in particular pairs very well with any sort of grilled meats, anything from a steak Absolutely. to um, pork chops or um, mm. this ribeye that we have. I know it's going to be perfect. And this is a really interesting take on ribeye as well. I might add. How what it. type of a retail price would we expect to pay for this? This is beautiful. I have so to tell you, the combination is very nice. The Zinfandel is part of our estate label, Rancho Arroyo Grande. Right. And because it's such limited production, this is under 500 cases. Oh, really? Commercial winemaking is um, considered very boutique. Um, this is an extremely special wine, and one that's close to my heart because I helped to hand harvest this with my siblings. All right. So this is very much um, our family project and our family wine. And because of that, and because of our particular vineyard source, and the fact that it's dry farmed, means that our yield is very low. Right. So instead of um, creating or growing grapes that have a high tonnage, and there's a ton of wine that is available, this is um, much more unique in that it's a very low tonnage and a small production. So this is a different, slightly different price point than the deep sea wines. This you can get for $45 on our website in our tasting room only. <laughs> you don't have to apologize for $45. This is much worthy of $45 plus. You can pay $60 for this and not be unhappy. What you need to know is Zinfandel is a great grape. Rancho Arroyo Grande is the label. Find it online, find it at your local store, and I have to go. Time flies when you're having fun. I want to thank you very much for watching Wines Du Jour. We're having a great time here tonight at McCormick and Schmick and Tasting 3, Conway uh, Family Wines. I didn't ask you before, but tell us now, if you will, what is the website where you can go on and check out your wines and maybe buy them online if they can't find them in their local retail store? You absolutely buy any of our wines online, Deep Sea or Rancho Arroyo Grande. Both labels are part of Conway Family Wines www.conwayfamilywines.com and also visit us at our tasting room on Stern Door in Santa Barbara. That's a great thing. I have to tell you, Santa Barbara is a great place to visit and uh, make sure you go to the winery for the tasting. We, uh, we've got to go. I want to thank you very much for watching Wines Du Jour. We're having a great time and I hope you had a good time watching what we did. Asian TV, the community channel for Asian Americans in Las Vegas.